Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, so for today's lesson, we're going to be doing addition of integers. So let me get, uh, wait, wait a second. All right, so find the sum. Six plus negative 12 plus two. So when we're adding, normally when we add, it's for example, six plus six, both of these numbers are positive and then you just add normally and that equals 12. But when we add negative six, a negative number, um, we're actually we're actually going to subtract negative six. So this adding a negative number is the same thing as subtracting a positive number. So this would be the same thing as six minus six, and that equals zero. Just an example. So for number one, six plus negative twelve is the same thing as six minus twelve. And that equals negative 6 plus 2, uh, negative 6 plus 2 equals negative 4. I'll give you a second to look at that. All right. Um, let's try another one here. Uh, number 6, negative 9 plus negative 10 plus 19. So when you're adding a negative number, you're sub it's the same thing as subtracting a positive. So negative nine plus negative 10 is the same thing as ne uh, subtracting 10 and plus 19. So this right here, negative nine minus 10 is the same thing as negative 19. And then plus 19 plus 19 is the same thing as equals uh, 0. All right. Next page. Um, as you probably know already, greatest common factor. Um, so for this, we'll start by uh, listing the factors out. So for 15, it would be 1 and 15, 1 times 15 equals 15, and 3 and 5, 3 times 5 equals 15. And then for 5, uh, it's just 1 times 5 equals 5, nothing else. And 1 and 1 are common factors, and 5 and 5 are also common factors, and the greatest one is 5, so the greatest common factor, the GCF, will be 5. Moving on. Find the least common multiple. So, uh, multiples of 9. So, 9 9 times 1 equals 9. 9 times 2 equals 18. Then 27. 9 times 3 equals 27. 36. And so forth. Goes on and on and on. And for 18, I'll put it up here. We have 18. Then we have 36. Then we have... 54 and it goes on as well and uh, so far this list goes on forever but so far the commons one uh, the common multiples we have are 18 and 36 and the least one the smallest number is 18 so the least common multiple will be 18 Pretty self-explanatory. It's in the name. Least common multiple. Alright. 
Um, now we're going on to the word problems. Let's see here. Emily has a packet of 40 M&Ms. 30% are red. How many M&Ms are not red? So, um, what we can do here is set up uh, a proportion. 40, so she has 40 M&Ms and 30% of them are red. Or actually, I don't think we even need to set up a proportion here. So 30% are red. And how many M&Ms are not red is what the question is asking. So since 30% are red, 70%, the rest, are not red. And 70% is the same thing as 0 0.7. So we can just do, since she has 40 M&Ms, to get 70% of 40, we can just do 0 0.7 times 40. And that equals uh, 28. All right, let's try uh, one more problem. In a class of 30 students, 60% of the students are girls. How many girls are there in the class? So we have 30 students, 30, and 60% are girls, and the question is asking how many girls are there. Uh, so 60%, so we're trying to find 60% of 30. 60% is same thing as in decimal form. It's 0 0.6. And 0 0.6, 60% of 30 would be 0 0.6. Uh, that's a multiplication sign. 0 0.6 times 30. And that would be... 18. Yep. All right. So that was it. Um, here's the answers if you want them after you're done. Try to solve the problems uh, first on your own, and if you really need help, um, you can use the answers to check. Um, but I encourage you to uh, try to solve the problems on your own. So, um, I guess that was it. Uh, thank you for listening, and I'll see you next week. Bye.